Hello everyone, it's your bud. Today I will be talking about Atraxa from Magic the Gathering. She is a very cool looking character from a very scary plane. Atraxa was once an angel of the plane of Mirrodin. Her plane was being invaded by the Phyrexian threat. Life on Phyrexia is something that was born from this goo, something that can be described as greasy metal, also known as the Phyrexian oil. This mutative matter was the core of the problem, literally. The plane of existence that Mirrodin inhabited was created by the planeswalker Karn, who unwittingly carried some of the Phyrexian oil's contagion upon him, leaving it within the core of the planet to fester and cause future problems. The plane of Phyrexia, where the contagion originated, was created by an evil planeswalker said to be a dragon a long time ago. But as such, each and every bit of quote-unquote life on the planet is really just living biohazards to normal life. Now, Mirrodin was also a place with metal where artificers and enchanters could incorporate it into life as easily as they could heal flesh. And in their subsequent war with the invasion by the Phyrexians, they were successful in defeating the invasion and won a victory, unknowing of the contagion that Karn had already spread to the plane, however. When the Phyrexian oil evolved into beings, they were not all black mana aligned like those Phyrexians who came before them. So, original Phyrexia fell, but the oil that Karn brought with him still remained in Mirrodin and then began to fester and evolve as the oil did. It evolves into more powerful life forms and more powerful. Uh, many of them eventually had different opinions and different alignments unlike their previous generations that would have all been aligned to black mana. And eventually, after a very complicated relationship formed between five leaders working together, well, mostly, Red Leader doesn't really join in, he put a wall up between the furnace section of the planet, which I think is supposed to mean the core, and he like he just walled up the entire core and just doesn't really, he just ignores everyone else. But most everyone else works together. And together with the leader of the White Phyrexians, they captured an angel of Mirrodin. Mirrodin had elves, it had many other beings, but also there were angels. All other leaders except Red gave their blessing and powers to help shape this being into Atraxa, only described as a great Mirren angel who was captured while single-handedly holding back a Phyrexian assault. Now forever to be known as Atraxa, Praetor's voice, a being without flesh, entirely replaced by artifice and complete lack of any organics known as Compliation, that's C-O-N-P-L-E-A-T-I-O-N. Not completion, this is the final stage of Phyrexian evolution where no organics remain, yet the entire memory and personality still remain within and inhabit this new body. Now a part of the endless conflict between those upon new Phyrexia as it has been named since the takeover of Mirrodin, she is fated to forever take part in its battles. Red has always been my least favorite color, mostly because aggression physically hurts me, getting tense and angry only causes me pain, so Atraxa is one of my favorites in Magic the Gathering, at least for a prospective commander. There are different names for the different color combinations. Also, there's like no blue, no green, or no whatever names, so in this case, Atraxa is no red, also known as Witch, Witch Ma, or Growth. Growth is the name they probably wanted to give it, but then they released a card called Witch Ma, and I think it was the only no red four color combo. So of course, everyone referred to the color combo as Witch Ma, or no red, or just Witch for short. So it can get confusing knowing it's no red, growth, witch, witch ma, it's all the same thing. So if you're not a magic player, which I'm not, it can get super confusing. 
I never owned any of the cards, but it does have good stories and characters and some really neat ideas and designs. I hope that you found Atrexa interesting. I know I didn't say much, but there's so little written about her. I also think that she's one of the coolest cards. Ever since I first saw her design, I liked it. And then when I realized that her card is the choice that I would end up using in a four-color deck, I liked it even more. There are other cards that I like as much as Atraxa, and some even more so than her, but she will always be one of my favorites in design. And when I say design, I mean aesthetics. An angel turned into an enchanted and artificed body is so cool, and I love the wings. It's almost like a moth-like thing with the appearance of the helmet as well, or I guess that's not a helmet, it's actually her face. <laughs> I don't actually know enough about the game to know if her card is even useful in the game though. Still, she will always be one of my favorites. So when I say I like her design, I mean I like the aesthetics and not her design of how she's meant to be played in the game. I know nothing about that design aspect. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Leave this a like if you want me to make more Magic the Gathering videos. A like shows me that you like the subject and that you're interested in me making more. It shows me what to make more of. Subscribe for daily videos. I make a new video every single day. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching.